What's up, digital world? Coming to you from my digital cell in the boondocks. All right, today we're going to be talking about some technology in the economy. All right, so you can do what? Technology, which are advancements, uh, you can have advancements in machinery or advancements in how you do things, okay? Um, machinery and equipment developed from scientific knowledge. Um, and it's not necessarily... Uh, electronical devices for example let's look at uh, the growth of messaging originally you had a messenger he ran from place to place and he risked if he went and told somebody some bad news they might go off with his head and he would lose his head uh, that's why they came out with the saying don't kill the messenger uh, then we improved to things like smoke signals uh, where you could send up and people could see it from a distance. You wouldn't actually have to travel that distance. Then there was the telegraph. <laughs> where you, they pecked out, uh, Morse code over, uh, a line. They use this machine right here and they would hit this down and it would send a signal across and they learned, you know, so many taps and so many dots with so many spaces in between uh, equaled letters, which would be words and so forth, uh, and they could send messages. Then came the telephone. Um, this is a really old school one here. You can see the wind up here, uh, and there was way advances in telephones. You know, when I was a kid, I remember we, you know, we didn't even have wireless phones. We, you know, had this. If you were lucky, you had a long cord on your phone that way you could kind of walk out of your parents earshot and you know try to talk to the girl you got on the other end of the line and be like hey you know if not you were stuck right there in front of your folks trying to talk and just be like uh yeah i can't really talk right now you know what i'm saying so uh and then you know today we got cell phones you know uh could you imagine uh most of you can't a world that without cell phones you know that somebody can get it a hold of you at any moment uh and that you have a device that you can play games on and do all sorts of stuff you got the internet at your fingertips uh and imagine what's even next you know in 20 30 years they might not they, they might think of cell phones as you think of the telephone um so it could be why why talk not talk in person you know where you actually just teleport to somebody and talk to them and tell them about it and teleport back uh, a method is a way of doing things, okay? And sometimes we change the method, not only just the technology, but the method. And we'll talk about that here in just a minute. Uh, this can help increase in productivity. It can make, uh, remember one of the goals was efficiency. And so it can make things more efficient. Uh, it can speed, uh, increase speed and efficiency at which goods and services are created. They can be made faster and be made cheaper with less products, with less waste, uh, with less labor. Uh, one way uh, that a method changed was the assembly line. Uh, everybody, people became specialized in doing one part. Like, for example, uh, this guy right here looks like he is specialized in putting that tire on. The right tire of all the cars that came out of this factory, that was the dude to do it. He'd stand there and he'd put his tires on. Lift up, put it on, zip, 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 zip. And that was his job. He was specialized in doing that. And he could just do that repetitive thing over and over again as each car came through. And, you know, each guy had their own specific spot. Uh, here you can see a, a factory which people are working. Uh, it looks like some probably some food processing factory in which they are processing food as it goes down this conveyor belt. Um, but people were able to become very efficient at doing one repetitive task and they found that there was less loss of time when people had to could do the same thing over and over again than having to transition from task to task to task so that increased speed and efficiency uh, and as production increases cost usually decreases which lead to lower prices so things cost less to make so they start selling them for less uh, Profit is then made on the quantity of sales. You know, 
whereas I might sell five making a thousand dollars each. Uh, so I made you know five thousand dollars, but I found an easier, quicker way to make it. So now I sell five hundred, but I only make a hundred dollars on them. I still made a lot of I made a lot of money. But I didn't make as much per sale because they were uh, done more. Uh, I mean, done quicker. I could put them out a lot easier. And research and development departments most companies will have in order to help find these more efficient ways. Uh, this leads us to the ripple effect. When one uh, change leads to a series of other changes, kind of like whenever you, you take a pebble and you toss it in a pond or you see a drop of water in a in a pool of water, uh, you see that it sends out this ripple effect. Well, let's look at cell phones. This is what we were talking about earlier. Uh, cell phones productivity goes up. All right, cell phones become cheaper. All right, so they can make cell phones for cheaper and make them faster. So people start selling them cheaper. More people buy cell phones. So now that increases the demand for cell phones because cell phones is one of those things that, oh, well, you have one. Oh, well, I want one so I could talk to you. And so, and then you're just like, well, I want, you know, so-and-so to have one, so-and-so to have one. And so everybody's getting them because everybody else has them. You know, 15 years ago, very few people had cell phones. 20, 25 years ago, you know, you were a rare person to have a cell phone, and a cell phone looked like a big brick, or you had a car phone, which was like this big bag uh, that you had to carry around with this huge battery, and you kind of pulled the phone off of it. And, like, my grandmother had one, and you did not touch the car phone unless it was a dire emergency. Um, but cell phones became an everyday item, and now they're used by many and everybody. Pretty much almost everybody has a cell phone today. Uh, distribution and technology. Uh, think of the ways that now we now distribute goods and services. Uh, we've gone got to where we standardize it to have everyone uh, to do something the same way as what, when you standardize it. So we, we ship the same way. Did you think of any of these? Uh, you know, we have air shipment where FedEx and UPS are sending stuff all over the country, you know, via the ground and air. Uh, we have these shipping containers. You see these on shows and stuff all the time, but people ship stuff overseas and stuff uh, or on trains and all sorts of things using these. Things are made that they'll fit in these containers. Or how many of us have seen an Amazon box? They all look the same, and we all know, oh, that, there's my order from Amazon. And the Internet is another way that's greatly influencing and changing how we do a lot of this. Uh, it's the most influential technology today. Uh the internet is a library because you can learn stuff off the internet, uh, like find you know books and resources. You can actually learn. Like right now, I'm teaching you over the internet. So it's a school. It's a marketplace. We just mentioned Yahoo. So you can go buy things off the internet. It's a communication tool. We can talk back and forth, you know, IMs, emails, uh, Skype. We can use all this kind of stuff in order to talk back to back. It's a workplace. I work on the internet. Uh, so I can actually teach over the internet and so therefore it's a workplace uh, other many other people work on it so there are thousands of uses for the internet uh, and it's really defining uh, our generation or this time period uh, and of how things are done uh, and think of you know talking about transforming of how things are done you know uh, they went from storytellers you know that's how information was passed uh, then you had language, you know, you had storytellers even before language, and then as language came, storytellers developed more. Then eventually the written word and people had to write it out, and you had people who specialized in just writing and rewriting things that had been written. Uh, then the printing press came out, uh, and it was one of the greatest inventions because it allowed us to get this information out to the masses. And then radio came. Uh, and people could sit by the radio and get the news and hear all sorts of things that was happening around the world. TV increased this because people could now see that. And now the internet, you know, you got the whole world at your fingertips. Uh, and just look at a little e-commerce, uh, online buying and selling of goods and services. 
Amazon, eBay, Netflix, Zappos, uh, Xbox Live. I mean, you've got so many things that you can actually buy uh, from the internet and use it as a marketplace now, which this cuts down on a lot of cost for companies because now they don't have to have all the employees, they don't have to pay their building rent, a lot of different things uh, that they don't need that they can cut back and now get price of things to you even cheaper than actual stores. All right, so this was uh, some technology and economics. Uh, until next time, deuces!